Today is going to be all about four well-known and well-established best password manager options. Yet which one is truly safe and which one is right for your specific online habits? Hey, welcome or welcome back to Cyber News, where we're going to be doing a thorough NordPass versus Keeper versus RoboForm versus Dashlane comparison. Now, I'm going to cover as much ground as possible. And if you're considering any of today's recommendations, well, we always add the best, most updated deals down in the description. So check those out after I answer all your questions. Okay, to just jump right into this comparison, I've got to talk about one of the market's most secure password manager options, NordPass. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and toot their horn. They really are backed by a highly reputable company, Nord Security. With a zero knowledge architecture and independent third party audits, NordPass is transparent and they even use a more modern encryption protocol than their competitors, you know, XCHACHA20. This is especially crucial because encryption is the pillar of any trustworthy password manager. Then there's the MFA, multi factor authentication, used to solidify their architecture. Now, I was hesitant back when NordPass only used email or SMS authentication but now they've got a much more versatile approach. Even biometric authentication is in there. All right, so is NordPass good? Well, looking at all the noteworthy features, you're gonna find all the general stuff, like a strong password generator along with some storage. But I'm loving NordPass's marriage between security and ease of use. Here, take a look here. I can organize all of my passwords into vaults, create little folders, and even save personal info for quick access. There's even OCR scanning, optical character reader scanning, and that further improves the experience of entering documents or card info. But what I really like is the data breach scanner and the password health sections. Between these two, I'm able to see old, weak, or reused passwords, or even data that might have ended up on a dark web database. Now, while I do wish they had some cloud storage like the competitors Bitwarden and 1Password have, well, at least they have a good amount of compatibility. I could use NordPass on most of my operating systems, and when in doubt, their web vault, which is browser accessible, is a total godsend. It's always available. But you could argue that the desktop app is a more fully fledged version, but hey, the mobile apps are still intuitive and quite helpful. All right, so is all this stuff worth its price? Well, thankfully, NordPass does offer a free version, so users can at least test the waters. Now, I've brought this up in a previous NordPass review, so if you're curious, you can check out the channel and subscribe so you never miss a video. Now look, this is one of the best free password manager options on the market. Considering the level of dedication and secure architecture, well, having said all that, the biggest limitation that I see at this point is only being able to use one device on this plan. I also wasn't able to securely share passwords with this option either, which is honestly kind of what I tend to use the most. Now consider for just over a dollar a month opting for their longest term plan, well you end up with a pretty incredible deal. Even their monthly plans cover six devices for under five dollars at the moment. Okay, moving on. Now this is where I would uh, usually do a joke about keeping passwords safe, but I think subscribers have had enough of the pun fun. So let's just go ahead and analyze Keeper versus NordPass. So on the security front, they share fairly similar practices to NordPass, making Keeper one of the industry's leading premium password management tools. But to put a fine point to that claim, well, they also have a zero knowledge architecture, a whole bunch of 2FA options to safeguard users' accounts, and an independent audit. And actually it doesn't stop there either. Their features are where this password manager truly excels, with some unique additions that I haven't even seen the competitors utilize. The most impressive of the bunch is their self-destruct feature. Okay, so let's say I suspected that my vault was compromised, or maybe I left my device in the wrong hands. Well, I could blow the roof off that thing and toggle on self-destruct. Once enabled, after five failed login attempts, my locally stored passwords would be erased in whoop, one swoop. That's radical, revolutionary. Radical, revolutionary, eh, you tell me. There's also Keeper Chat, which yeah, is kind of random, but it is an encrypted messaging service. So if anything, it just shows Keeper's dedication to a more private and controlled online world. Okay, so getting back to the more traditional password manager capabilities of Keeper Security, 
all the generic stuff is there. Well, of course, which I won't have to dive into, but I do like that you can create passwords with a cap at 100 characters. That is a seriously long password. I really enjoyed their record types capability, letting me digitize any number of documents. And more impressively, they have a new feature that lets me set an expiration for shared data. This truly is something every password manager should implement. And it even works via email, SMS, AirDrop, and more. And it's available on all major operating systems with the ability to be configured with most web browsers. So I can see why many are raving about the Keeper Password Manager. I found it modern and exciting, especially with all those extra capabilities. But is the price right? Well, for a lot of unlimited stuff and 24 seven customer support, Keeper is currently just under $3 a month. And that's an extremely affordable price point, but there aren't loads of different plans and price points. Even the family plan is great value with five private vaults and 10 gigabytes of storage. All right, now looking at a bit of a password manager veteran, enter RoboForm. So what's there to say in the Keeper versus RoboForm argument? Well, both are reputable companies, but RoboForm once catered to a more business oriented user base. Now in recent years, things have changed with even personal users benefiting from this password manager. And that's because you got 2FA, dark web monitoring, password health checker, and a few other additions that make for a truly secure option. And yeah, surprisingly, RoboForm has them all. But what really stands out when it comes to RoboForm versus Keeper and other competitors is their self-hosted slash cloud-hosted server options. Then there's their own TOTP authenticator, which let me tell you is very unique. I mean, I hate having to download loads of apps. And so if you're the same way as me, well, let me just say this is an easy fix for a quicker login process. Now, in terms of ease of use and versatility, well, again, RoboForm is just as accessible as the other options that I've mentioned. But yeah, I was kind of pretty happy to see a one click login process. This stacks up in the RoboForm versus NordPass debate, since this was also possible with NordPass's browser extension. Now, I will say when it comes to the RoboForm desktop version, well, it's just not as easy to get the hang of as other providers, but I guess it's straightforward enough. So if this is your very first time, well, yeah, there might be a bit of a learning curve for you. Like for instance, the layout just isn't as modern as I'd like, but if you just want a secure option without any extra bells and whistles, there really shouldn't be an issue since the main capabilities like password generating and sharing are all fine and dandy. So getting password security from such a well-established company, you might think that it's gonna set you back a hell of a lot of money. But in reality, a one-year plan with RoboForm is currently under $18. And remember, this covers all of your devices too. So in my book, yeah, it's a very competitive price. Okay, now let's start to wrap things up. Uh, oh, wait, before I do, I've gotta mention one of the most streamlined password managers for PC, Dashlane namely because of their impressive feature list, easy to use extensions, and solid security practices. There are also three authentication methods, including biometric login. So yeah, you gotta love all that. Now, one area where Dashlane isn't rivaled, even when comparing Dashlane versus NordPass, is their offering of a VPN with their entry-level plan. So look, I just can't say that this is the best implementation that I've ever seen, especially when you consider NordVPN as a standalone tool, but it is great for anonymity seekers and they even have over 20 countries to choose from for their VPN. So that at least is better than some of the other standalone ones, you know, the free options out there that might be stealing your data. And Dashlane is known to be a bit expensive, but they do offer a free plan for users to try out and decide for themselves if it's worth it. You know, that's always appreciated. But this is basic protection at its finest. To get the more worthwhile stuff like the VPN, encrypted file storage, and unlimited devices, well, yeah, you're gonna have to opt for their entry-level plan. Now, when considering all of the features, I wouldn't say that they're gouging users at all they're currently sitting comfortably at just under $7.50 a month. Okay, now we're wrapping it up. What is the major takeaway from all of this? Well, and most importantly, not all password managers are a one size fits all kind of deal. So having said that, all of these options have the foundation of a secure, efficient, great password manager. 
but my best recommendation would be NordPass, especially as a bit of an all-arounder, and it implements such a user-friendly experience. Then there's Keeper, with a solid backing of features and privacy customizations. It really just depends on the features that you need and whether you want cloud storage or perhaps a built-in VPN. But no matter what, you should never skip a password manager altogether. That is one thing for sure. All right, now don't forget to click the box on the screen to check out our best deals, where those links are always updated. And actually, that's all I got. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.